Okay, it's time to talk about distance, the relationship between distance, um, speed, and thought be, and time. Okay, and we use this DST triangle, and we put all the letters in alphabetical order. So this part of the triangle will be our distance, this part of the triangle will be our speed, and this part of the triangle will be our time. Okay. And we're going to use this to be able to find any one of these. So um, the one that we want to find is the one that we're going to cover up. So we're trying to find distance, we'll cover up D. We're trying to find speed, we'll cover up S. And we're trying to find time, we'll cover up T. Okay, now in math, using in general, using the calculator is basically cheating because <laughs> we want you to learn the method. But in science, using a calculator is most time best. Okay, so right now we're doing science, so the calculator is the best way to solve a lot of these problems. Math, it's, it'll be cheating because we're trying to teach you how to do the problems. So let's look at some problems here. The first one is the distance is 30 feet, the speed is 6 um, feet per second. Find the time. So this is where distance goes, this is where the speed goes, and this is where the time goes. Well, since we're looking for um, time, we're going to cover up time and put in the numbers for D and S. So distance, we have 30 feet and 6 feet per second. Well, just feet, that's this is where the 30 goes. And the 6 feet per second is the speed, so this is where the 6 goes. All right, so time is what we're looking for. And it says that time is going to be distance over 6, or D over S, or 30 over 6. So 30 over 6. Now, 30 over 6 is actually a division problem, so I'm going to pull out my old trusty calculator, and we're going to actually put that in. So we're going to put in 30, and then a divide, and 6, and the calculator tells us we have 5. Now, that's time. So we put in 5 here, that's 5, but the time we get from this right here, seconds. So we put S, E, and C, and now we got time. Now, let's move to the next one right here. The next one says... Um, speed is 8, the time is uh, 50 seconds, find the distance. So we're looking for D, so that means we have to cover up D and put in S and T. So speed, out of these two, will be the 6 feet per second. When you see that per, that means that we're going to look speed, so 6 goes here. The 50 seconds, that's time, so 50 goes here. So what we have now is that our D since these are right next to each other, these are going to be multiplied. They're not above each other. So this will be 6 times 50. So let's put in 6 times 50. And we get 300. So D is going to be 300. So we put 300 right here. Now 300 what? Distance, we can use this right here. There it is right there, feet. So we're going to put in feet as the distance. Okay, the next one which is, they gave us distance and time, we're trying to find the speed. So distance will go here, uh, speed will go there, and time will go there. Since we're trying to find the speed, we'll cover up S, and we'll put in the numbers for distance and time. Well, distance is 60 feet, so 60 goes here. 20 is for time, so 20 goes there. And this is 60 over 20, which means this is a division problem. So let's put in S equals 60 over 20, and we'll use our calculator. Um, 60 over 20, or 20, and we get 3. So this will be 3, but 3 what? Since this is speed, will be feet, and then per, and then seconds. So this will be feet, per, and then seconds. Okay. And let's take a look at the next three right here. 
Okay, we have a distance that is 44 miles and the speed is 8. And we're looking for time. Remember, D goes here, S goes here, T goes here. And since we're looking for time, we cover this up and we fill in the D and the X. Well, distance is 44 miles. So it's 44 there. Speed is 8, so we put 8 there. So this is 44 over 8. So that means T is going to equal 44 over 8. And that's a division problem. So 44 divided by 8 gives me 5.5. So time will be 5.5. But 5.5 what? How can we get the time? It's right here on the speed. It has the word hour right here. So we know that's 5.5 hours. Next, speed is 8, time is 1.25 hours. Find the distance. Well, again, D goes here, S goes here, and T goes here. Um, we're looking for distance, so we cover up distance, and we put in the S and T. So speed is 8, so 8 goes here. Time is 1.5, 1.25. So since 8 and 1.25 are right next to each other, that is multiplication. 8 times 1.25. And we use our calculator once again. 8 times 1.25. And we get the answer 10. So that's the distance. It's 10. But 10 what? How do we know 10 what? Well, if you look right here, speed has the distance right on it, miles per hour. The miles is the distance. So that's miles. Okay. All right, last one. And then I'll let you guys do the other three right here. Okay, distance is 25.6 uh, miles. The time is 0 0.8. Find the speed. Well, the speed, so we have D, S, and T. All right, so our speed will be um, made, recover speed will be D over T. So D is 25.6 and time is 0 0.8. So our S will equal 25.6 over the 8. So let's try 25.6 over the 8 and we get 3.2. Okay, so 3.2 and what units will it be in? This will be in units of miles, oh sorry, speed, miles, and then the word per, and then this will be hours. You can't read that is that is hours. Okay. And the last three right here will be for you guys to finish on your own. This will be 1.25 meters, 0 0.15 meters, and find the time. The next one is speed is 0 0.15 meters per minute. The time is 300 minutes, find the distance. And the last one is the distance is 9 meters. The time is 0 0.6 uh, minutes, find the speed.